what is up everybody and welcome back to the channel today we have a course spotlight for a course that just got released today if you've been paying attention to my socials i actually made a course teaser for the person who made this gamer called blue i'll put a link to that video if you just want to check it out down in the description below i'll also put a link to the twitter of the creator of this course gamer called blue i had the privilege of beta testing this course seeing it kind of old in front of my eyes and i think that this has turned into one hell of a course called la chapeau d'an i don't speak french but that's my best guess at what that is it is a very fun course a very challenging course and i think that it will be a nice addition to some of the great courses that are out there. So let's do this. Let's get started. La Chapeau da, made by a gamer called Blue. Nice little first hole. Definitely keep it left. Take this slope on the chin. Oh yeah. There's definitely uh there's definitely a couple of really difficult pins, but they're fair pins, so you know that's what you're that's what you're looking for. Oh look at that. Starting off with a fast. What a surprise. Maybe our chipper is gonna be as hot as it was in the TGC tours. That would be nice. Fasted it, so see you later. Should be able to get a nice little easy par here, though. All right, first hole down. If you've played any of Blue's courses, the any of the Poseidon's courses, it, it, honestly, like every course that gets made, like something is improved upon, or multiple things are improved upon. Just gotten better. Every single course. Bunker layout's better. The overall layout of the course is better. Planting's better. There, there's so many good things about this course. And a lot of things that Blue has definitely improved upon since he started doing these. Started, you know, becoming a course designer. Every single course is just a little bit better. In one way or another. I'm really messing this hole up. Looks like we're going to recover nicely for a birdie, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give it to me. Nice little birdie. First part three. Something that he worked on for quite a while. Watched a nice little video by Victory and learned on the fly. I think it turned out really well. Like I said, it's crazy seeing like where this course was like two weeks ago and where it is now. It's kind of wild. One oh two ain't gonna be enough. I needed like a one oh four. One oh four would have been really good. Hold it. This might be okay, though. No. Hold it. That's a bummer. Yep, 
Yeah, I mean, dude, even like sculpting of the fairways and just everything. It's just a lot more cleaner. I mean, I liked his other courses too. Uh, they gave you a nice they gave you a nice challenge while also being pretty fair as well. Uh, this one has a little bit of both. You know, there's definitely some the tough tough pin placements, but there's some easy ones too if you just get a good shot in. It's very rewarding in that way. This might roll the Narnia. Alright. You know, like this. This is like a, this is nice, some nice plateauing. You have to hit a pretty good shot coming in. But it's not like you know extremely unfair or something. Even though I didn't think his other courses were too unfair either, but. Yeah, just a very peaceful round. No, I'm probably not talking too much. I'm just really enjoying the course. And I've played it a couple of times already. I still enjoy it every time I play it. Everything's just really... Like, a lot of things are really well placed. That's another thing. Just the whole course management of, of the course itself. Um, he's definitely improved on as well with every course that he's made. This is definitely this is definitely his best. I think every course that he's made has been his best. Um, this is definitely his best today, for sure. And it, dude, it's just it is so crazy. It, like he got a lot of feedback from a lot of people, and it's just it is insane <laughs> how different this course is. from when I played it. Now, I provided quite a bit of feedback, though, on it, so... You might even be able to go back into my Twitch VOD. I'm trying to remember which day that was. Um, we actually... I played it on live on stream and kind of took feedback from the community at large. After I sent... Like, I sent an initial, like, fucking... I don't even know how long it was. It was pretty long of, like, feedback on it. And then I actually played it on stream. And we got feedback from the community as well. And, uh... It turned into something really, 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 really good. I think my initial feedback was, like, this is, like, my third favorite course that you've made. And, uh... It's definitely, it, 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 he turned turned everything around, took all the feedback in, and made the changes that he thought were necessary. You know, because of course at the end of the day, you know, it's your course. You make it how you want it, you know? So he made the ones that he thought was necessary, and it's turned into something very, very good. Oh, can I make a putt, though, please? Game? Hello? We're on a par streak right now? Uh, this hole is the devil. Because you have to get around all of the... Like, the, the, the big boy play... Not the big boy play, but the, the smart play would just be to knock a three wood out here but you know that's no fun everybody knows that that's no fun you know we want to make we want to make those big boy plays so oh oh no that'll work never mind see look perfect that's just what we wanted you know we're the best
Man, I just really want to get a perfect. Can we do that today? I really do not want to putt 70 footers. Hmm. Oh boy. That's a big ridge. Just gotta get close. Go in. Go in. Oh. Well. We got it close. I guess that's a plus. Still on a par streak here, though. <laughs> Dude, if that it actually reminds me, I think it might have been seven. I, I think it was I think it was whole seven. Um I actually said in my feedback, I'm like, this might actually be the worst green I've ever played on in my life. <laughs> and uh like I gave some like, you know, you can maybe try this or do this. And uh when I played it on the stream, it was like I just blew right past it. <laughs> Because he like, he like demolished all of whole seven's green and like redid it all. <laughs> he just re he just redid it all. Might have maybe it was this green. I can't remember if it was seven or eight. But I I just played right through it, and he was like, "Hey, did you notice like that was the the green that you hated?" And I was like, "Wait, what? Was it really?" Because it was just like he just redid it and made it very good. By the way, why why um why some of these are playing like these greens are playing yellow, orange? We're actually playing on very fast, so that's the default is very fast. R5 to end full and the and the front half off, which is I love. Easier par five too. As long as you can keep it fairway. Which we did not. Sick. Hey, we actually got 105 out of there. It's not going to roll all the way, but... Let's see if we can get this to roll. Get in there. Oh, you suck, game. Dang it. At least we ended on a birdie, though. Only two under. Not exactly the best, but... So this par five, you have to make a decision. Do you want to go left side and have a pretty hard draw into this, or do you want to go right side tree and have a little bit of a safer spot, but you have to deal with the bunkers, potentially? It's a split fairway, but not at the same time. But it leaves you with a decision. Pick which one. I like that. Big fan. Still amazed that adding a tree changed that hole up. Settle. Ain't gonna settle. You gotta hit a pretty good shot coming into the air to get it where you need to get get it where you need to get it. Eagle. Boom. Chipper's hot. Chipper's hot, baby. Woo. You play Primo? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. OK. 
God, I cannot hit a perfect. I can't hit a perfect at all. Sucks. This could be good. Ooh. Okay. Nice little birdie there. Another replay for Hemo? Let's go. Oh, yes. Trickle right in there. Trickle right in there. I really like this hole a lot, too. Um... Just the way that it's it's split out like this. Because they play they play in a way similar, but they are split out. Uh this hole's actually changed both these holes have changed quite a bit since um the initial initial beta testing as well. I really like this look too, like this red. Like I really I don't know what it is about this mulch, but I really, 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 really like the red mulch a lot. I think the color palette's really nice here. Tough green. Still can't hit a perfect. God dang it. Roll out. It rolled out. We gotta play this a little safe. Come back down the hill. Oh, a little too hard. Just a touch too hard. It's all right, we still get our par. This next one, a little bit of a fader rooney. We want to play into this fairway. Perfect. Oh, we're great. Getting those trees, you, it does become a problem. You gotta try to avoid those at all costs. It definitely becomes a problem. Hey! We got a perfect. It's amazing how much easier the game is with a perfect. <laughs> amazing. All right, we got a little bit of a back nine going here. Let's keep this up. Let's keep it going. Let's see if maybe we can get a hole in one, huh? Oh, maybe? Depending on distance? Well, that drifted a little right. Don't know why. Interesting. I don't know why that drifted to the right. Maybe we can just get a birdie instead, though. Break back in. Ooh, putter is hot, too. Let's go. Nice little seven under. get a big enough wind you can actually shoot through here you gotta get a big wind in your back though big 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 wind oh that's okay that'll actually work you want to try to cut this as much as you can get a nice little easy shot coming in 
Wind in your face. This one's this hole's pretty tough. Uh, I know it's a big green, but you can get into some really nasty situations. When the wind is not in your favor. Oh my gosh, another perfect. What is going on right now? Oh, get in the hole. Oh, you what? Oh my gosh, why has this been happening so much to me over the past couple of weeks? Jeez, oh, Pete. So much. I've just been hitting flag and bouncing out. Ugh. The worst. Guess at least we're getting birdies, though. You know, that's a plus. It's gonna go a little long. This doesn't play too bad over here. She gives another birdie. Ooh, just barely. Just barely. We have dude, this is a huge back nine. Holy cow. And it ends on two par fives. The best. Really uh, opens it up on the back end. You know, maybe you're down and out. It's okay. You got two par fives to kind of claw your way back in, you know? Try to overpower this. Get a nice little fast. I don't think 102 is enough. Need like a nice solid 104 there. That's okay. We got a nice cool calm chip coming in. I love the natural slope that protects this hole uh, for par five. Like the slope on it in the green, just it, it protects the hole on all four pins, which is really good. The bunkers help, but the slope is good protection. Oh, got a little greedy. I got a little greedy there. I blasted it. Oh, I did not want to hit it that hard. Ah, uh, par here. That hurts. That hurts. That was a bad chip. One more par five to work with. A much harder one, though. Um, the way you come in here is uh, a, a lot harder. Uh, this green... Reminds me of, like, an Augusta par five. We can't even get there. Oh, shit. Usually I can get there. The wind must just be enough that I can't. Oh, do we just go for it, though? Like, try to overpower it, fast it? You know, like, I always go for it, right? One oh three ain't enough. 103 ain't enough. Hello? Oh, that's what we need right there. That 105. <laughs> 102 definitely isn't enough. Save me. <laughs> All right. Tin cupping it. Tin cupping it. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> no! Okay, now I'm just curious if I can make it there. I keep hitting a 102. Oh no. 
Um, all right, we're gonna stop doing this because I'm gonna stroke out and I want to show you this green. <laughs> I keep trying for a 105, and uh, yeah, I'm not getting it. Yeah, this is the green. It, it, it's 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 actually it's protected front side, but if you can just hit it kind of like just on the green, the slope actually helps you out to give you uh, some chances at eagle. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's not ideal. All right, let's make this for our quad real fast. Just real quick, you know, make a quick quad here. It's a nice, simple quad bogey. Cool, calm quad. No. Oh, I was going to say, you know, just like that. Dang it. Oh, that was that was actually a that was a five over par. My bad. Not a quad bogey. All right. So, you know, we end on a six over par. <clears throat> <laughs> Not too bad. Just a little six, six, uh, six over par to end her off. But yeah, that's La Chapeau Don. Go give it a play. Check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. Try all four pins. Uh, they're, they all offer different levels of difficulty for each hole. It's, it's a really nice setup that, that, uh, that he's got. Let's go check it out. Go give him a follow on Twitter. He's a course designer now, so I'm sure he's gonna start working on his next project. He streams on Twitch as well, if you want to keep up to date with, you know, the course of him designing. Check him out there as well. But thanks for stopping by today. Thanks for watching. Greatly appreciate it. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like on the video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. That way you are notified whenever a video goes live. Hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, though, wherever you are in the world. And we will catch you on the next one. Do Ooh, 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 ooh